What do axolotls eat and how to feed them? What do axolotls eat? When they are two days old, their yolk sac will be completely consumed. Baby axolotls will then hunt on anything that moves in the water, they can swallow, like microworms, BBS, baby brine shrimp, daphnia, mosquito larvae and some underwater bugs. As adults, axolotls are also fed with, liver frozen, blackworms, bloodworms, mealworms, and pellets. Crustaceans and insects such as shrimp, prawns, tuna and lean chicken or beef as treats and even small freshwater fish like guppies, white cloud minnows and endlers. In the wild, axolotls eat almost everything that passes in front of them and can swallow it, small fish, freshwater insects, small shrimps and even other axolotls. Let's see all this in a little more detail because their food will also vary according to their age and their health condition especially when they live in a fish tank. The meals of the axolotls are more and more spaced in time as these animals get older. Here is how many times to feed an axolotl based on its size. An axolotl of less than 5 cm will be fed up to 4 times a day. An axolotl of less than 10 to 15 cm must eat 3 to 5 times a week. An axolotl of more than 15 cm can be fed 2 to 3 times a week, even only once for individuals of more than 20 cm. What do axolotls eat on the day they hatch? The yolk sac. This pouch will feed them during the first 48 hours of their life. After exhaustion of their yolk sac, and while waiting to be able to attack small larvae, the axolotls can also eat algae, waste and remains of trout and salmon that the current will carry towards them. This pouch will feed them during the first 48 hours of their life. After exhaustion of their yolk sac, and while waiting to be able to attack small larvae, the axolotls can also eat algae, waste and remains of trout and salmon that the current will carry towards them. What do axolotl larvae eat after they have exhausted their yolk sac and during their first month? But from the third day of their hatching, the axolotl larvae or baby axolotls will start to hunt if they are in their natural environment or will be fed with freshwater insects that they can swallow, the most commonly used are the Artemia gnaupliaus. The axolotl breeders know well that the baby axolotls eat only live insects, only the food and movement interests them because the insects trigger their voracious hunting instinct. It is therefore necessary to breed Artemia, for example, in order to supply them with live prey at least three to four times a day during their first month of existence. What do baby axolotls eat? After about three weeks, the axolotls' eggs will hatch and dozens of baby axolotls will be hungry after they have quickly emptied their food supply in their yolk bag. They are then exclusively fed once or twice a day with live food until they are about one inch old. Among the things that the baby axolotls eat are, microworms. BBS, baby brine shrimp and daphnia. You can then from the second week of their life make a collection in water areas of, some underwater bugs. Mosquito larvae, white worms. You can then after their front legs start to grow, give them frozen bloodworms from time to time and only move on to pellets and live whole bloodworms once your axolotls are big enough to swallow them, at least 3 inches. What do axolotls eat from their second month on? So, what do a young axolotl eat? This is the time to start feeding your little axolotls with mud worms, which should now reach a little more than 2 cm, the front legs will start to emerge as well. You can also start to introduce small pellets to your small axolotls, these pellets are usually rich and complete and it's composed of fish, shrimp, natural fibers and vitamin supplements. I recommend Hikari Tropical you can also use Aqui and Shrimp Pellets Fish Food. Try to crumble them into small balls that will not exceed 1 mm so that the small axolotls can swallow them easily. Can axolotls be given pellets as food? You will continue to feed them until they reach 4 to 5 cm and then you will start feeding them small pieces of freshwater fish such as trout and perch, fresh or frozen, be careful to remove the bones. Make sure you give them bigger and bigger worms each time they grow up so they can attack them and swallow them. Do the same for the size of the pellets you give to your axolotls, axolotls of less than 7 cm, give pellets of less than 1.5 mm in diameter and if you can't find any, crumble the biggest ones. Axolotls of less than 15 cm, give pellets of size M of 3 mm. Adult axolotls over 18 cm, give XL size pellets over 4 mm in diameter. Small live fish to feed your axolotl, fed with small fishes, axolotls can also be fed occasionally with small live fish, freshwater fish of course. You can make a small breeding in another aquarium just to feed your axolotls if not, you can find them in pet stores I think. Here are some species that you can introduce in the tank of your axolotls to hunt and feed them, the guppy, the endler, the zebrafish, the cardinal fish, 
The Tanakthi's Elbow and Oobs. It is a practical solution also if you are going to be away for a while, your axolotls will hunt these small fishes to eat them in your absence. Red meat for an axolotl in convalescence, if your axolotl has just been treated for a disease, or has lost a limb and you want to speed up its regeneration, you can give it small pieces of beef or poultry heart, even muscle meat or river mussels. Avoid fat. The beef heart is the richest in proteins and phosphorus, but also in fat. Don't get soaked, you should give some to your axolotl only very rarely, if it is wounded for example or it seems a little thin because the beef heart would be long, 7 days to digest by your axolotl and could even cause a digestive problem to young axolotls. The CA slash P ratio when feeding your axolotls, the calcium slash phosphorus ratio is very important and must at least be above 1, greater than 1. In this case, it is well known that the axolotl's food does not lack phosphorus, and if this ratio is less than 1, it will in fact be necessary to try to add a supplement in order to balance it. Earthworms are the best choice in this table, followed by bloodworms. Let's wrap this up, if you have access to a freshwater stream that is not polluted, know that you can always bring treats to your axolotl, such as small fish, fry, insect larvae, tadpoles, worms, small shrimp and other small freshwater crustaceans. If not, the food for axolotls is available in pet stores, especially earthworms and pellets, you can buy for him. Live food types like, night crawlers, black or white worms, live daphnia, live brine shrimp and ghost shrimp. or frozen food types like, frozen blood worms and frozen brine shrimp. And finally, pellet food types like salmon pellet. That's all for this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video and on my blog familypet.com. Bye.